everyone, it's Zane, and today I'm going to be doing the Sims book tag. For the first time, I was actually tagged for a video, so thank you so much to Charlie from Accio Books for tagging me. I will leave a link to his video and channel down below. The original creator of this video was the amazing Haley in Bookland, so I will also leave a link to her video down below. The first question is best author debut, which corresponds to the original Sims category. I'm going to go ahead and steal Charlie's answer for this one. I mean, is there really any question for this? It has to be... Harry Potter and the Philosopher or Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. I mean, I know I don't need to explain this answer. It's Harry Potter. It's home. It's wonderful. It's magical. It's perfect. What I will say real quick is that I'm so excited to be rereading this series very soon. The next category is Grim Reaper or Saddest Character Death. This answer will contain spoilers from Harry Potter, so if you haven't read the Harry Potter series, mute this or click away, whatever. The saddest character death for me has to be... Dumbledore from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Do you guys ever have those books or those scenes from a book where you know exactly where you were when you read them? For me, that was definitely Dumbledore's death scene from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I couldn't even bring myself to cry after reading it. I was just, just like absolutely crestfallen. I was, I couldn't even talk. Even thinking back to it, I'm getting like a bunch of feels from it, but it was a very impactful scene and I'm really really happy that it was in there. The next category is Sims getting stuck or a character that just kept getting in the way. For this one I'm definitely gonna have to go with Martin from Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. In this story there's such a beautiful love story blossoming but then this one character has to come and just throw a wrench into everything. It was just so annoying. There was just something about him that I couldn't root for him. Even understanding some of his motivation, it was very difficult to understand why he was doing what he was doing. Definitely read this book. It's a very cute, fluffy contemporary, and it also features LGBTQIA plus representation. The next category is Simlish, or a book with the best writing. For this, I'm definitely going to have to go with The Iron Trial by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. Now, obviously, there are better technical writers out there than these two. However, when I think of best writing, I think of writing that has a lot of nuance to it and a lot of dynamics to it and these two authors just really made me laugh in this book and for me that's pretty rare with that being said they still were able to up the emotion when it really mattered the next category is expansion pack or a series where the books just keep getting better and better and better for me this has to be city of bones by cassandra clare for anyone who's been subscribed to me for just even a little while you'll know that I can't stop talking about this series. They do get better and better. The first one was lacking in so many ways, but the second one is good and the third one's even better than that. And I'm literally paraphrasing from my previous video, but it's the truth. Give this series a go, you guys. I kind of consider this a 12 book series just because that's how many books there are in the Shadowhunter world. The book I'm on now, which is the 12th book in the series, it's just miles ahead of any of the previous books. The next category I don't actually have an answer for. It's worst case of insta-love or sims romance. I was trying to think back to some contemporaries I read, but thankfully, I guess, I couldn't really think of one that had a really bad case of insta-love, so I don't have an answer for this question. The next category is cheats or a very unrealistic booker series. For this, I'm definitely going with a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. The reason why I'm choosing this book is because the adults are absolutely awful in this book. If the adults had any competency at all, Count Olaf would have been caught within the first three books. Especially Mr. Poe, you just get so mad at him and uh, I just, I can't even deal you guys. The next category is needs fulfillment or a book character that just made all the wrong decisions. For this one, I am gonna go with Ned Stark from A Game of Thrones. Oh, poor Ned. Bless his heart. He really, really tried, but he's just too nice for Game of Thrones. Going toe to toe with Cersei is just very, very difficult for anyone, especially someone like Ned Stark. A Game of Thrones is all about political maneuvering and strategy, and Ned Stark really isn't cut out for it. The next category is Error Code 12, a series that started off great but then got progressively worse. For this one, I'm gonna have to choose. Divergent. Now, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant. However, they just did get progressively worse. I definitely didn't enjoy the last one as much as I did the first. I think the reason for this is because a lot of the elements that were there in the first book were not there in the last book. There was just this novelty in the first book that made it great, but as the world kept on expanding, it just kind of lost its touch. With that being said, the ending of the last book is very polarizing, so I really liked it for that reason. The next category is Sims Vortex, or a series or book that just completely sucked you in. For this one, I'm definitely going to have to go with The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. I'm honestly like the slowest reader ever, 
But for this series, I just plowed through it. There was something about the world and the characters that just draws you in. There was a very realistic and endearing romance as well, which I was not expecting at all. The final book in the series was the first book that actually made me cry. So for that, I'll always kind of remember it. Definitely give this series a go if you haven't already. It's one of those where each book is consistently good. That was actually the last question. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you so much again to Charlie for tagging me. This was again my first tag video so that's super exciting for me. I'm actually not going to tag anyone specifically just because I did a tag video where I tagged a bunch of people. However, if you want to do this tag, then definitely go ahead and do it. I post new videos every week so if you want to be notified for when I post a new video, be sure to hit subscribe and I will see you soon with a new one.